Knocked away by Clark. Here's Clark ahead of the field. Caitlin Clark has her first All-Star point. Because she might be tickling that soon. Yep, tickling it. Nice. Yes. Caitlin Clark silenced her critics and haters, including Cheryl Reeve, with an outstanding performance in the WNBA All-Star Game against the USA Olympics team. Now, Clark has once again set another record. But more importantly, she proved wrong those who have let down basketball fans by compromising on merit by ignoring Clark's class. I mean, just check it out for yourself. Is there any second guessing here about not having Clark on the Olympic team? Uh, from me? Uh, no. Coach, thank you. You're welcome. Man, it was a flat out no. Team USA coach Cheryl Reeve delivered with a smug and dismissive expression. Simply put, she ignored Clark, driven by an agenda, not because she didn't meet merit. And with his response, she tried to belittle her as if she was a below average player. But hold up, that confidence was shattered mere minutes into the game. Once the action started, any doubts about Clark's abilities was laid to rest. Now she must have questioned her judgment during and after the game, because Team USA suffered a crushing defeat to the All-Stars. I mean, come on, man. Team USA is a power bunch filled to the brim with star power. We got Aja Wilson down there. We got Nafisas down there. And they MVP frontrunners. You also got Kalia Cooper. You got Chelsea Gray, Kelsey Plum, Diana Taurasi, and Jackie Young, who all rank among the most menacing floor generals. But this ain't without some weaknesses, because you got players like Clark and Angel Reese, who was brutally ignored. Now look, despite this, Clark and the WNBA All-Stars triumphed at Phoenix's Football Center, securing a 117-109 victory. Oh, and she also added another milestone to her impressive rookie season by starting in the All-Star game on Saturday. Now look, it was really cool to watch her because she played alongside Angel Reese after the pair became the first rookie duo to be named to the All-Star team since 2014. Plus, it's pretty interesting to see them work together because all the beef they had. So, Clark set a rookie record for assists in a game with 10. Now, she didn't fare as well on the scoreboard, though. She scored four points on two of nine shooting, including 0 for 7 from beyond the arc in 26 minutes on the footprint center floor in Phoenix. Reese fared better, becoming the first rookie with a double double in the game with 12 points and 11 rebounds was Pitbull doing a halftime performance. <laughs> like Pit Pitbull is still doing this? Like 15 years later, he's performing the same hits. He's still doing halftime shows? Mr. Worldwide, No, I, No, he's Mr. Worldwide, and I give him props. <laughs> I mean, listen, Pitbull's bank account is all swole, but I just did not know that Pitbull was still doing halftime shows. I just did not know that that was still happening. I'm sorry. But it is I'm the last one to get the memo. But Caitlin Clark played a crucial role in the WNBA All-Star team's win over Team USA and head coach Cheryl Reeve on Saturday night. Now, she and Angel Reese were out for revenge after being off the roster for the Olympics and looked forward to their opportunity to play together for the United States in four years. Team WNBA won the highly competitive exhibition game by eight points which Clark sees more as a testament to the talent of the league than vindication for her snub. The number one overall pick wanted to play in Paris, but looks forward to the time off for rest. Now, Team USA is going to be doing just fine. Reeve, who has consistently shown a standoffish attitude toward Caitlin Clark over the past three months, faced defeat at the hands of the Indiana Fever's 22-year-old superstar for the second time in a week on Saturday. Get her to the hospital, get her some ointment, because that is one hell of a burn that she's got to live with. And look, man, despite being humbled twice in seven days, she still continues to be curt and sharp AF when talking about Caitlyn. Her decision to leave out WNBA star Caitlin Clark from the Olympic team has caused uproar in recent weeks. And so fans of the Indiana Fever player was quick to point out the irony that the very same player has come back to haunt the head coach of Team USA. One user wrote on social media after the game, Cheryl Reeve getting her ass kicked by Clark and the other Olympic snubs is art. Yo, another grilled perfectly this way. Cheryl Reeve 
Zoe Piz, Caitlin Clark, is the best point guard in this game. But look, there's one thing this coach has got to do for sure. Reeve needs an attitude adjustment before the upcoming international trip, as reporters aren't going to stop questioning her about the biggest star in women's basketball. Holding on to bitterness presents a bad image. Now, the decision to leave Clark off the team was always going to be a major talking point, so it's time to address it. And you know it's going to be really funny, right? If Team USA blows it and doesn't get the gold, y'all know the first question everybody going to be asking is, Y'all think y'all could have won the gold if you wasn't so biased and hateful and Caitlin Clark was on the team? Man, to make matters even worse, Team USA's focus on Clark was evident throughout the game. Now, Reeve opted to face guard Clark for all 26 minutes she was on the floor, yet they still couldn't shut her down. Along with Reeve becoming cynic and unjustful, the rivalry between Clark and Angel Reese was set aside at least for a night. Now, we all know that Angel and Caitlyn make one of the top rivalries in women's basketball. This all goes back to their college careers when they played a pair of high-profile NCAA tournament matchups against each other, both in the Final Four and one for a national title, and now it continues at the professional level. But in the recent game, the duo was teammates for the first time as they helped lead Team WNBA to an upset win over Team USA in that All-Star game. I'm, I'm so excited for this league. I mean, super competitive. Being able to be a rookie out here. I hope many more times I'm out here. And this crowd came out tonight to support so many different people. I'm happy. Thank you. I mean, Alicia Gray. You During the game, Reese described the experience of playing with Clark to the broadcast team. Now she said, it's so cool. I know when she gets the ball, I'm running, looking for the ball because I know she's going to throw it. Reese expressed her optimism and showed she really enjoyed playing alongside Clark, expressing her wish to play together with Clark in the next Olympics in 2028. So she's been great to play with. I mean, the future, we're going to be playing with each other a lot. Hopefully in four years, we'll be Olympians together. While there's been so much hype on the pair entering the WNBA, the duo has shown that they can compete with the best players in the league. Now that's helped show that this isn't just a moment for the WNBA but it's a larger movement for the sport. Now, Clark said this, I definitely think it's much more than women's basketball. I think you look across the board at all women's sports and people are really invested in it and show up for it. As always, Clark had something to say that would elevate the hype around women's basketball. And why wouldn't she? Her words carry a lot of weight. While both Clark and Reese have been challenged throughout physical play on the court and a lot of noise off the court during the rookie season, these two ladies have flourished. Now, both of them stunned the basketball fans, but who stunned the most, of course, was Clark. She had another chance to prove her worth in the WNBA All-Star Game, and she seized it brilliantly, putting in a performance for the ages, the type of which she's making commonplace in the WNBA regular season. I mean, look, she set the rookie record for most assists in the WNBA All-Star Game, and made a statement with a remarkable pass to Aliyah Boston while Reeve was being interviewed as part of her live broadcast of the event. I can remember, I think it was the Rolling Stones at one point choose Guns N' Roses right. as an, and Guns N' Roses outperformed them. Yeah. There is something to be said. You put Caitlin Clark in these showcase games because advertisers will watch. No, 100%. And like I this game couldn't have been better for Clark. She not only delivered an outstanding pass to her fevered teammate, but also caught Reeves' attention, stopping her completely in her tracks during an interview at the side of the court. Nothing quite says, hey, yo, lady, take notice and shut the hell up, like that kind of a move. Man, that kind of performance might just make Reeve reconsider her decision about Clark's spot on the Olympic roster, despite previously stating that she didn't second guess it. Although at this point, it's difficult to see a change coming. Not only did Clark's performance speak volumes, but her fans also took to social media to grill Cheryl Reeve, expressing a frustration over her dismissive no regarding Clark's selection for the USA Olympics team. Their outpouring of support and criticism also might have given Reeve a reason to rethink her stance on the situation. Man, that was one hell of a game where they really snubbed the snubbers. So what y'all think about all this? Make sure you let me know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next episode.